Hi, we are the Diabetes Nurse Service at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. I'm June and I am a diabetes healthcare support worker. During your stay as an inpatient, you may see other members of the multidisciplinary team, including consultants and registrars. Please be assured that all members of the team are highly skilled in their area of practice and you will see the appropriate member of the team at varying times during your hospital stay. Due to the global pandemic, we may not be able to see you face to face, so these videos have been prepared to help support you in your diabetes management, which might have changed recently. Please feel free to watch the videos as many times as you wish and share with your relatives and friends who support you in your diabetes management. We will also refer you to the most appropriate service to support you after you leave hospital. This may be a community diabetes nurse, your GP or any other hospital diabetes service. Due to your diabetes, a decision has been made by the Diabetes Multidisciplinary Team that you should monitor your blood glucose at home. This will allow you and the diabetes team supporting you to make a decision on your treatment. Each person has individual blood glucose targets and will require to monitor glucose levels at different times of the day. The number of glucose tests and individual targets will be clearly explained to you before you leave the hospital. Please ask the team if you are unsure. You will be required to order blood glucose test strips and lancets on your repeat prescription and before you leave the hospital, the diabetes team will be in contact with your GP with the new items to be added to your prescription. Today we are going to educate you on blood glucose monitoring on the GlucoRx Nexus meter, which is generally used for patients with type 2 diabetes. We will have the meter delivered to you. When you take delivery, please remove the pouch from the box and make yourself familiar with the equipment. Unzip the pouch and inside you will find a blood glucose meter, blood glucose test strips, a finger prick device and lancets. These are small needles to prick your finger with. Please take out your meter. This is the on off button. You will never need to press this as the meter automatically switches itself on when a test strip is inserted. If you turn the meter to the back, you will see where the batteries are stored. These will last roughly up to one year and then can be replaced with the same size batteries from a pound store or supermarket. This orange button inside the battery compartment also allows you to change the time on the meter if required. Now please set the meter to one side. These are the blood glucose test strips. Please check the use by date on the side of the tub. If the strips are not in date, please do not use them. Open the tub and remove one strip. After this, close the lid. The strips are stored in the tub to improve their accuracy. If they're left exposed, moisture in the air can affect the accuracy of the result. At the end of the strip, you will see lines. This is a code which tells the blood glucose meter how to work. Above the lines are arrows which show the directions the strip should go into the meter. At the other end of the strip, you will see a blood droplet symbol, and this is the end of the strip you place blood onto. Please set the strip beside your meter. Now take out the finger prick device and the lancets. Lancets should be changed once per day as they are fine needles. They become very blunt very easily, which makes it harder to draw blood out of the finger. They should be changed every day to reduce the risk of infection. I will now demonstrate how to change the lancet. Firstly, unclip the lid of the finger prick device. Next, place the long slim side of the lancet into the finger prick device. Now turn the circular end of the lancet until it loosens and then pull it off. Check that the needle is not bent. Place the cap of the finger prick device back onto the body of the device and check that the needle depth is set to 3. 
Pull the grey end of the finger prick device to load the spring inside. Lastly, check that the release button on the side has changed to orange. Now the important task of hand washing. Please wash your hands with warm water only. Soap and gels contain sugar which will affect the accuracy of your result. Washing your hands with warm water will also help to bring blood to the surface, making it easier to carry out the test. You will find a leaflet in the box which illustrates how to carry out the test. I will now demonstrate this for you. Insert strip into the meter. Place lancet device against the side of your finger. Press the orange button. Squeeze your finger until a droplet of blood appears. Place the test strip against the finger until the blood sample covers the black strip. The meter will beep to make you aware that you have a sufficient sample. The meter will count down and the result will be displayed.